on the other side of the trail, there's a swamp. <laughs> we are gonna go look for Burmese python. Let's go. We're out. We're both tired. Django, Raven, come on, come here guys. All right guys, welcome back. So uh, today, oh crazy dog, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys all about looking for Burmese Python nests. So we get a lot of requests for this on our other social media accounts. We're always like, hey, how do you guys find Burmese Python nests? So, uh, <laughs> Django, what are you doing crazy man? I have decided to finally take some of this old footage, put it back together, and try and make a video out of it. And I took a lot of this footage several years ago before I really kind of knew how to make a video. And still, I can't, I can't say I know how to make a video now, but I had no idea then. I'm gonna take all these clips, pile them together, and give you an idea of how we find Burmese python nests. So uh, if you're watching this video, you might be like, what's a Burmese python? A Burmese python is an invasive snake here in, <laughs> here in Florida. Uh, they are the fourth largest snake on earth. They were recorded around 24 feet. They got here to Florida about 30 years ago. How they got here, there's a couple of theories, uh, but we'll save that for another video. And the Burmese python is an invasive species, so it's not native here, and some of the damage that it causes to the ecosystem is consuming native wildlife. And because they get so big, they are very limited with the predators that they have when they're little babies. All different types of things are gonna eat them. Once they get over six feet, they lose a lot of those predators. Uh, but the American alligator is always gonna be a predator of the uh, Burmese python. The biggest Burmese python on earth cannot eat the biggest alligator on earth. And a couple of years ago, we got some really cool footage. Actually, this was probably four years ago. We got some really cool footage of a big bull alligator chomping on a python. Here you go. Oh, shit. Here, don't blind him too hard. I thought we were gonna have tug of war for a second. Look, the python's still fighting him. That's so cool. King of the jungle. We've been catching pythons for over 10 years. They inhabit the five southern counties of Florida. They typically inhabit areas with water. They're very, very dependent upon water. Now they're here, they're breeding. Looking for their nests was a big challenge for us. We actually uh, were featured in a book called uh, Giant Snakes. Here's a picture of it. And uh, I wrote an article about looking for Burmese python nests. So the Burmese pythons here in Florida, they have actually synced up to our natural cycles like many of the uh, native snakes have. They have a mating season and then they have an egg laying season where they sit on their eggs for 60 days and they wait for them to hatch. And once they hatch, that female comes off the egg. Florida, the largest one I ever found uh, was a little bit over 18 feet. And we've caught a lot of big snakes uh, over the years. Here's some clips of catching uh, pythons over the years. Mm -hmm. Big snake. She's thick. Oh my god. I'm unholstering the snake. Okay, let's 
guy. Oh shit, oh shit, shit. Go, two hands. Well, sir. All right, they're, 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 they're starting to settle down. Uh, anyhow, back to uh, pythons and looking for nests. Uh, we dedicated a lot of time to looking for nests. People think that you just go out in the field and boom, you find stuff. Not the case at all. Uh, the amount of time you put in the field equals how much you are gonna find. Yeah, number three for the night, not bad. Yeah. We go out at night and we hike canals. We drive roads looking for signs of pythons. Guess see how focused Toby is? So many mango trees. Do they have mangoes on them? Yeah. Here's a couple clips of pythons crossing roads. Hello. Baby berm, baby python. What? <laughs> Great. Can, can grab Tay. Nice catch, Tay. <laughs> While looking for python nests, we've been very successful at it. We have found a total of about six nesting sites. Uh, the first uh, nest, I was hiking a canal, I spotted some babies, and then all of a sudden, boom, I see the female, and she was wrapped up and around some eggs, so here it is. Right there, huge female. Maybe bigger than 14, she is a big girl. And then right there next to her, mound of eggs. I've been looking for this for a while. The eggs just started hatching, and she crawled up off the eggs. I just caught five or six babies right here. She's been staying with the eggs. This is crazy. All right, so that was like my first encounter of the nest. It was incredible, big female. I got tons and tons of babies. Ooh, Django! Raven! Raven! All right, so one of these nests was absolutely just crazy. We were walking and we started seeing babies everywhere. So we started grabbing up all these babies. There's more right here, so check this out. Babies going all the way up the trees. Probably can't get those. They're all in these trees. Oh my gosh, they're back across those. Some ton, tons right here, right here. This is crazy. We looked over where the babies were coming from and uh, we found the eggs. It was in a big mound of poison ivy. I started pulling back in. And I reached in and I started pulling out these eggs. And this is some of the coolest footage I think I've ever taken of wild uh, pythons. I picked up the eggs and I looked at them. They were starting to hatch and I touched one and watch this. Unhatched berm eggs. Oh my God, that's so cool. It exploded out of the egg. How freaking cool is that? There was just babies, eggs everywhere. It was total chaos. It was incredible. From an exciting standpoint, obviously it's not environmentally incredible. I also found a nest uh, under a roadway one time. Uh, here's that. All right, check this out guys. We just dug up a nest of pythons, the smallest nest that we have ever found. The mom was dead which was totally wild. Okay, I could take a picture. I'm seeing a picture wide video. Look at that weird deformity. It's a runt. Look at that, just like mom. 
There's nine eggs, only seven of them are good, so there's only four other babies roaming around. Yeah. And uh, we'll look for them real quick. Let's go look. And then there was one time Taylor spotted a shed along this uh, trail we were walking. We were really tired. It wasn't even far from road. We stopped uh, just to wake up a little bit so we could finish our drive home. And she spotted a shed and I followed the shed to a cavity. I stuck my arm inside, don't do that, uh, felt around and I found a big nest, a big pile of eggs. There was over 60 eggs we pulled out of this nest and here it is. Dude, tell you, air beast. Right here. So python, big python shed. Going into a hole and in this hole There's a bunch of eggs. Yeah. Here, you want to hold this and I'll dig the eggs out? Look at this. Egg. 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 They all hatched. But there's no cotton in here. <laughs> Look at all these. Holy smokes. We literally found all this because we were tired of driving. <laughs> and we got out to walk. We needed around. a walk. I saw maybe an inch of a big snake shed right, with so my tired one, eyes. Two, five, six, eight, nine, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, two, forty-three, forty-four, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, sixty-three. Wow, look at this cavity. This was a big snake. It's amazing that you fit into such a small spot. I mean, it's, hey, it goes way I mean, I know it's big, but like. All right, so 63 eggs. It and has to be. Huh? It has to be like the, what, the biggest nest we've seen? Like nest no, of eggs? we've gotten 70 out. Have we? I you can see the pattern on it. Oh, my book got box. Oh, yeah. We found space still. Here you go. Ow. So we just found a python nest that's already hatched with 63 eggs. And then, when I was pulling the eggs out of the nest, I looked on the side of a tree next to me, and there was a chameleon, uh, which was pretty cool. Look at that, pythons and chameleons, who would have thunk? That's a veiled chameleon. And of course, you know, years ago, Toby used to do quite a bit of python hunting with us, so here's some old clips of Toby helping wrestle some pythons up. All right, Toby, bag it. Grab a sneaky. You ready? All right, Toby, you gonna bag him? Come on, Toby, put him in. Come on, Toby, you gonna get him? You gonna grab him? Here, you got him? Get him, Toby. All right, so that pretty much wraps up our Burmese Python nest episode for now. If you guys have got more questions, you know, drop them below. Also, don't forget, if you like our videos, like, subscribe, hit the little notifications. It helps us out, and we will see you next time. Jangy!